Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can use PETG as a support interface material for your PLA prints. First, we're going to do a test piece here. I'm going to make a couple blocks, and one of them is going to be floating. So we'll get that done here shortly. Set that there. You have to merge them together before you can just lift it, otherwise it just falls back, just like that. So. I will highlight both of them, right click, right click, come on, you can do it here too. So we've got our one floating, kind of a line, let's give it a little more overhang. Make sure the edges are aligned. And you see I've got my PETG filaments up there, PLA. We're going to set that to be filament 3, which is PLA. We're going to enable our supports. Come over here to Support Interface. Sometimes what I like to do, too, is I like to set my PETG filament as... Let's check the box for Support Filament, and they get our settings automatically when we do this. We'll change to pet G, it'll give us our settings. Click OK and the box that pops up. It changes everything top Z distance to zero, rectilinear line, top interface spacing to zero. It's important to make it look good. And go ahead and slice it. You can see usually I change the color just so I can see in the preview that the support interface is actually the other material. Just going just gonna to lower the infill so it just doesn't take as long to print. There we go. I'll change the color. Let's see, let's see, you can see that the PET G is being used as the support interface. The PLA overhang will print directly on top of that without any gap. Make sure we've got the correct plate set up. We'll slice it. Select the right printer. Okay. And go. All right, so here I have my shape I made. You can see the white PEG support on there. It just pops right off. That's it. Bottom surface looks awesome. Yeah, PEG as a support interface.